actually. He's my dad, too. <laughs> we have the same dad? <laughs> Man! He looks Joe, great! you're lying. <laughs> That's not uncommon, Lincoln. You been watching the news lately? <laughs> the news at all. Hey, hey it's what? your fault. I was trying to play a game and then I I just saw you. I was trying to play with you and then you brought me up here and you ruined my life. So. This is the best idea ever. Well, tell us how you really feel, Lincoln. I mean, darn. At least I won't forget that there's kids in the audience now and start using the F word. You know, France. Do you know what freedom fries are, Lincoln? What? Free freedom fries are what people call French fries who don't like France. I love French fries. I love French fries too, man. I love Belgian fries. They're, they're French adjacent. All right, so you know what we're doing here, Lincoln? Asking questions. Close. You are answering questions. All right? We're Skull. Lincoln, you are Skull. I just want the actual Skull up here, so then I don't have to be bored. Well, I'm sorry to have to break this to you, but he's dead. <laughs> to me. That's such a lie, because why did I see him, and why did he have my, uh, Abraham Lincoln's jacket on? <laughs> because he stole your jacket, and, 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 he, and he's not dead, he's just dead to me. Uh, well, that jacket doesn't fit me. Well, actually, you did put it on for a minute, and we made it into like a sleeping bag. It was like a Lincoln Log Lincoln bag. <laughs> do you have any Lincoln Logs? No, I, no. Do, I used to, but... When you were a kid? Yes! <laughs> I see. And now you want to play video games all the time, right? Yeah, yeah me too. I love, I love PlayStation, and I love iPad. I really? So you're you're not a Microsoft fan, is what you're saying? No? Okay. Yeah, that's not what he's saying, but that's what he means. I saw someone uh, out there on this side. He was playing uh, N Nintendo when he had a Mario hat. Yeah? And were you jealous? Yeah. <laughs> hey man, do you wanna do you wanna share your Nintendo with uh, Lincoln? I don't know, you want to play it for a minute so you'll shut up? <laughs> I mean, I did invite you up here, but semantics! <laughs> All right. This guy is the most crazy person ever liked in the movie, so... Yeah, that's true, I suppose. Woo! All right, you, you want to stay up here with me and answer questions? Yes. All right. <laughs> hey, everybody's broadcasting on YouTube, man. Everybody wants to be famous. Famous. All right, so here's a story. Jason Nervy had to catch a plane at 3.40. Yeah, so they stuffed him into a van after they put the orange bag on his head. Can you repeat that first line? Because I never heard it. Sure. Jason Nervy had to catch a plane at 3.40. Say it a little bit faster. Jason Nervy had to catch a plane at 3.40. <laughs> so he gone. Jason Narvey had to catch a plane at 3.40. Oh, I understand now. Very good now. Thank you. Thank you, Lincoln. Wow, let's cast this kid in the show. I think he's perfect. Hey, I'm just glad you finally I get to be on YouTube. Yeah. You're on it right now, man. You're being broadcast worldwide. Woo! Woo! Yeah. See? Watch out. They're going to start trolling you in the comments like they do me. Hey, all I want is I has 1,000 likes on the video. That 1,000, that's, that's your life goal? <laughs> we can 
that I think you might actually have that with everyone in this room and their multiple personalities. <laughs> Well, I got it now, Quentin. You said winking. Well, I thought you were winking at me. I didn't realize you just had something in your eye. You're just like, I was like, what's the matter with you? You're like, it's winking, man. I'm no kidding, you're winking. Not winking. Whoa, 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 whoa. Hey, is that Skull cosplayer here yet? Uh huh. Get your ass up here. That's right. All right, now I hate to tell you this, but this happens in show business from time to time, Lincoln. You just got recast. Honestly, I'm, I'm gonna mob after you, because you are like second skull, so I'm gonna mob after you. Because you got this role. All right, grab your mic and pull it closer, Skullovich. Here I am, I'm the real skull, Jason Harvey, what's happening? <laughs> What, there was someone covered in new slime? No, I saw, I said that he has purple new slime ah. with him. That, oh, that is true. I think, I think Lincoln's talking about the antibacterial hand gel <laughs> that somebody put um, ooze stickers so on. I know, it's ridiculous. <laughs> but you know what happens with the ooze, right, Lincoln? It, it makes your parents into zombies, and then they just walk hey. inexplicably towards the cliff. Hey, Crown, guess what I was watching last night? What? Mighty Wolfman Power Rangers. Yeah. See, now you're pandering to your audience. <laughs> now you're I, pandering. I was watching the one uh, when Jason and Tommy got turned evil, and they started fighting each other. Tommy who? Tommy who? Tommy Oliver! All oh, right. I'm not ringing any bells, sorry. You know, this panel is lacking in diversity. Bruce, why don't you come up here? Woo! I see you, Bruce. I have, that's, that's the Bruce back there. Now, he has promised me that he's not going to use any really long words today so he doesn't leave us all behind. Wait, does that mean that I have to leave the stage? Because I'm no, no. Diversity, man, you can stay. You gotta have the young de demographic. Oh, hey, what's happening? <laughs> That's your microphone right there. All right, Lincoln, this is Bruce. Skull, this is Bruce. Hi, Bruce. There's so many Bruce's, jeez. Uh, yeah, there's a lot of Bruce's. That's true. Anybody else named Bruce in here? All right, oh, you really want to Bruce? I am. Uh... Yeah, oh, wait a minute. All right, so this is the Vulcan Skull panel. And you got several, you got several skulls. I, I, oh, I wish that, I wish I was here Thursday so that I could see, uh, Jason. Oh. Wow. <laughs> Very sad. It is sad. That's sad. He's filling it. Hey, yeah, I, yeah, that's my dad. <laughs> about Bulk and Skull? No, I didn't think so. <laughs> Me neither, man. No, you, oh really, are you just going to the bathroom? All right. All right, come on up, man, you got it. You can take the court this oh, time and say a song. I can write there. I never knew that. All right, so just a question. Um, you weren't in the Moss Galaxy very much. Was that your choice, or they just uh, didn't like, they have as much freedom to do? What show? In Moss Galaxy. Well, that was after Jason Nervy made the fateful decision to go to college, right, Skull? Exactly. I fell asleep and thought, hey, since I'm here, I may as well go to school. And now I have a doctorate I teach in Chicago. Correct. He's a college professor and he's so young looking. I never knew that he was in Los Galaxy because I've never noticed that or seen him. What, you didn't see a fat guy at the bar? <laughs> You know, I, I'm, I'm sorry, Lincoln, but you're wrong. <laughs> there is a bar on Terra Venture. Hey, Bulk. What? Can we invite that kid over there up on stage? Yes. All right, well, what, what's your, wait, wait a minute, which kid are you talking about? 
The other Bruce? Oh, that. Yeah. Wait a minute, which guy? This guy? Yeah, raise your hand. Yeah, we, of course we can, Lincoln. <laughs> Come on up here, man. And we're being for it says serious. Oh, really, for serious? Come on up. Come on up. Now, see, what happens when the maximum number of microphones has been exceeded by the guest, the person that invites the next guest loses their microphone. So, come <laughs> over here, and you can sit, you guys can share a chair, because that's what we do in my family. There you go. So, what's your name? Justin. Can you speak into the microphone? Justin. Justin. Cool. Now, Lincoln, what prompted you to invite Justin up here into our diversity panel? Uh, he, he reminded me that Mighty Morphin Power Rangers, that what it was, so I was like, oh, I like you, kid. <laughs> right on. I thought you figured out because that guy's shirt. Ah. Uh, the youth center. The youth center. That's where the youth center <laughs> is. The center of the youth. <laughs> so you can get your youth back. Right. Oh, wow. Some youth? Finally, you do. No. No, you, you like aging? Yes. You get treated with more respect as an older American? Probably. Can you push off the chair right now? So there was, in fact, a bar on Terra Venture, and that's the season I call the couch season, because that's where I was most of the year, on my couch. So we were on contract and Jason was gone, and my contract was still in effect, and so they had to pay me money. Hey, I'm just decided that you're gonna be uh, in a game. Yeah, I'm in a game. Woo! Yeah, I know. I'm just gonna say, my daddy loves that game, and I, and I love him super much, and I like to play training. Well, you haven't tried to go to college yet, and that's where all that money is going. <laughs> Well, I don't know, it depends on how fast you want to level up your Red Ranger character on Legacy Wars. Oh, I love Legacy You do? You like it? I like fighting Megazords. I know. Dude, Megazords are awesome. Uh, my daddy only has like... <laughs> Go on. It's out there now. Say it.
and kind of were troublemakers, and the Rangers were the anti-heroes in the latest incarnation, so it kind of ameliorated the need for them in the story. Plus, the shoots were really crappy, so, you know, why be there? <laughs> You're welcome. But Thank who doesn't you. like a couple of uh, hot Vulcan skull ladies? Like, that's essentially what... Uh, that's yeah. essentially what they were, so. Yeah, I saw them, I saw them, but they weren't named, so. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Their names are both in skulls, Ken. <laughs> I have a question for Lincoln. Hey, Lincoln, what's your favorite Megazord? <laughs> I would say the Mighty Morphin Megazord and also the Dragon Lord and White Saba Megazord. All right. <laughs> Um, what was one of your favorite moments throughout the whole run that you went on? Uh, I mean, clearly, Countdown to Destruction, where we kind of, you know, yeah. Several weeks ago, we have spoken numerous times over the last few months. 
Uh, he's incredulous at all of this stuff. Like he can't really wrap his head around it because he doesn't really realize how you've all grown up and have jobs now and want stuff that's cool <laughs> that reminds you of your childhood. <laughs> And so he's, uh, I, I tried to get him to come to this, and he was like, ah, it's a little much for me. And I was like, all right, I'll get you later. So I'm still hoping to grab him and bring him in, because he's a sweetheart of a guy, and, and uh, we'll see. It's possible. Possible. Thank you. Yeah, I love him too, man. He's a good guy. So in Pound to Samurai, who is Spike's mom? I can't answer that. Uh, okay, so first of all, <laughs> what I will tell you in every single panel, we... It would be Miss Apple. At least that's what I would have said. She loves her students. Um, but I like school so much better now. <laughs> Thank you. I, I like you now too. Um, but if it were up to me, the most uh, probably be Trini, because it would have to be someone from season one. Kimberly wasn't showing, so either Trini or Miss Appleby, I'll let you guys decide. Hey everyone, Wilkins go got pizzas with apples. Do you care about us? Uh, are you trying to guilt me into getting you pizza? Everyone wants pizza. Oh, I, I got pizza. Because I, I, I was out of my pockets. I'll get pizza. Oh. We're only one of us to get pizza. Well, it's okay. You can chew on that one for a while. That's been sitting in my pocket, so it's nice and warm now. I got some post-food processing pizza, or we can just make a shake out of it. Alright, forget it, sorry. I think it's okay. Or just for you, me too. Yes, that's true. Alright, what's your question, bud? On the topic of food, how much food do you guys actually use for the Food Fight episode of Mighty Morphin Power Rangers? Um, well, a, a lot, actually. They had, but it was uh, mostly it was things that could be easily picked up and put back into bowls so that we could shoot the scene again. And how many times did it take to recreate that scene? Um, we shot that scene, I think, in like four total takes. And they, if you notice, they don't show the ground a lot because they just pull the fruit off the tables and put a new tablecloth on and shoot again. But meanwhile, the ground is just covered in junk because they don't have time to reset the whole set. The main, like, big, like, when the, all the food starts flying, the big wide shot, that is where the set got destroyed, and they kind of had us wait until the end to do that one. So, it was, it was quite a bit, but it wasn't as much as you might think. Thank you. Yeah, man, good question. And as I understand it, is they had, you know, everyone was in uh, ring ponchos, they had the cameras covered, so there was like maybe like this much room for them to film, and everyone's saying, don't throw at the camera, so of course. The goal is now this big. <laughs> <laughs> Looks like we have a psycho in the house. Oh, yeah, we do nice. Man, I didn't want to say anything, but. <laughs> okay, I was just gonna ask, uh, I think it's pretty cool though that now you're coming back for uh, Hyperforce, and you get to power your squad. How did you become a ranger if you're a bully? There is a, there's a short comic and from 2016 where Bulk and Skull did become Power Rangers, the purple and orange. Would you rather your Hyperforce character come protect you in danger, or Power Ranger power Bulk? Well, that, come on, Bulk and Skull do not deserve superpowers. <laughs> It's just a bad idea. That's like driverless cars. Why? Because you're bullies? All right. Now, what, what was your question? Did you become because you're bullies? I, 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 you, know, you know what I think it is? I think it's this is what they call the 11th hour reinvention. It's just easier to turn somebody they know into a ranger because they're pretty confident that I'll show up and do it for a very small amount of money. So why do you Skull? Well, Skull is not really my friend. Sorry, Skull. That's fine, you're not real my friend either. Right. What's your question, man? <laughs> what would you like to see in the new season of Power Rangers that would be airing 25 years from now when we're celebrating 50 years of Power Rangers? Whoa! Wow, man. Well, I don't know, we're already kind of covering all this dystopian stuff with Shattered Grid. Might be cool to actually do Shattered Grid as the series. Yeah. Because look, you could do it as a feature film, but it's it's like a little bit too much to cram into one like 90 minute movie, so it'd end up like the first Dune movie, really. What? 
<laughs> what happened? Yeah, that's a great idea, man. Then we don't have to get dressed at all for work. <laughs> Just come in and <laughs> bathrobes and just record our voices. <laughs> I look forward to it in 25 years. Right on. Yeah. Cool. <laughs> Me too, I think. <laughs> hey! So, uh, about the Vulcan Skull Roll, you wouldn't want to see anybody else replace him besides uh, this guy up here with the, with the White Sox hat on and the guy standing at the mic with the bulls down, all right? Yeah, yes. I, I have said this in the past that I think the characters could really benefit with uh, you oh. two specifically as Bulk and Skull. Yeah. Or can we at least be your body doubles at your table? <laughs> that would be awesome, dude. Okay, you should just be our body doubles in the show. Like, as they cut to the stunt, it's just you guys in an outfit. <laughs> It's better than some of the other stunt doubles they've had. Uh, good point. So from here on out, when you're at Pam's, we're going to fill in for you. I'm down with that. No, I'm, I'm, I've already told you I love you, man. <laughs> you're, you're in. You're good. Right on, come on. It's a time anomaly. I'm just from the universe. 
Dr. Skull just uh, said, screw being skinny. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's a time anomaly. Yes, just like the contracts you were talking about earlier. Correct, oh, those are a time anomaly too. Yeah. yeah. Okay, so uh, I got two questions. Uh, first off, um, Okay, I know Countdown to Destruction is like your most beloved moment, um, and a lot of people also remember the time you and Skull took on Scatterbrain, the kaleidoscope monster. Um, but my personal favorite moment you two guys had, I, I mean, multiple guys had, was um, Keen of the Day, when you guys went to uh, destroy... Oh, damn it, you were in... Sorry, but I said the D word. <laughs> Um, countdown Destruction, when you guys took on the cops in order to break down the force field or something. Yeah. Uh, how was that film, that finally having an action sequence? Well, they, we wanted to like do a whole thing, but they said, okay, you have about like five seconds each to do some damage on a uh, piranha charm. Right. And so I was like, well, I'm breaking his neck. I'm, like, I'm breaking his neck, I don't care. I, I got three seconds, I'm still going to break his neck. So if you look, I, I like get him, and then I do like a like a like a like a margarita blender move, and they just I was like it wouldn't give me the snapping sound, like skull dying in shattered grid. Spoilers, man. That's okay. He regenerates into a new skull, right? Sure. So many timelines. That's where I come in. That's where I come in. What are you gonna say? So the guy was hugging you? Was he the new skull? Which guy? The guy was singing the song? The oh. guy that they Is he the new skull? <laughs> yeah, oh, yeah, yeah, that's him. Yeah. yeah. Why isn't he on stage? I don't know. He did? I've been asking him to move in a song and try to slow. I swear I'm a visual. <laughs> Just watch. I got, so, I got so many skulls now, man, it's awesome. At this point, like, everyone in this room is gonna leave being a new recast of Skull. Totally, man. Yeah. This is like that Shattered Grid moment where, like, this is where everything started to break. <laughs> we created a time paradox. Every time, every, there's like 1,000 time streams of Skull. <laughs> well, you're Skull already. Mrs. Skullovich. I thought that was Miss Appleby, it was Mrs. Skull. Yeah! Um, although I can't do that clearly. <laughs> Come on, you can <laughs> Yes! Is that a lot? See, everyone's that got one of those inside of them. Everyone is Skull. <laughs> That's right. so sad. All loves that. <laughs> Alright, any more questions? Yeah, this, just one more question. Alright, I'm a big fan of the monsters from Power Rangers, and one of the things I always loved about the Vulcan Skull was you guys were always having the most interaction directly with them, as opposed to the lead cast magically transforming into costume stunt actors and not facing the monsters directly through that footage. Yes. Um, that was a terrible trip. <laughs> um, okay. Well, what was uh, your question? Yeah, did you guys have any like memorable stories dealing with the monsters? Oh yeah! Okay. Oh yeah! Because those suits, of course, because we got the Japanese footage from a two years previous version of the Japanese show, when they would finish their show, they would put the suits in a box and close the box, and then two years later, they would send the moldy Japanese sweat-infested foam rubber suits to California on a container ship. And then we would crack them open in the middle of the summer, and then some poor guy would have to put it on. I've been bought and run around. <laughs> Best. So basically, you don't, you don't have a microphone. You're like. Was a poor guy us all the schools? Oh. No, thankfully it wasn't us. It was a. Uh, it wasn't even a Japanese person at that point. It was still just the skinny American guys. Oh, okay. Yeah, Jason Ibarra, basically. Let's take Jason Ibarra in this year. Okay. Thank you, Paul. Thank you. And the 15 different Narbies. Uh, uh, <laughs> well, you're very welcome. Technically, he's a ball. <laughs> That's right. So, What's your question, buddy? My my question's for you. Uh, sure, thank you. Uh, do you have any like? What, what is your favorite behind the scenes kind of, oh man, we messed up type of thing uh, that happened during your time on the show? Uh, well, we would commonly break things on set, and like a good housekeeper, we would just put it back together and walk away. <laughs> 
until someone breathed on it later and it would fall apart and be like, what did my grandmother's earn? You know, knocking holes in walls, uh, drawing our own paradise escape on the white hallways of the set. Too many sandals. Producers did not like that. This guy knows everything. Pie. I watch a lot of YouTube. Walls. But pie, pie. Pie on the walls. Pie on the walls, yeah. Yeah, I was I was told pretty clearly it was in the contract of this event there was to be no 3.14s at all here. No mathematics. Thank you. Thank you, man. Good job. What up, homie? Hey, what's up? Uh, first thing I just want to get out of the way to my buddy Trevor. He said he would kill me if I didn't do this, and since there's like five skulls, I guess it's double points. Uh, he just wanted me to say hi to both skulls. Hi. hi. <laughs> Well, uh, you should call him up and then we can harass him on the phone right now. Oh, you want me to? Yes. If Bowie says it, then get it to him, man. Live your extra life, kid. Yeah, out. totally. Do you, is there Wi Fi in this building? Because it's like a bunker down here. I can't get anything. Oh. All the Verizon people are like, you should get Verizon. Because <laughs> all you yeah, ATT yeah. people are like, incommunicado. Metro? Metro's good? Is there? That's so weird. Are you, are you gonna FaceTime him? Because I can get it, it's FaceTime. He wants to see the real skull. It's gonna go to voicemail now. Wow, she's not, yeah, he's not gonna answer the phone at all. Wants more time opportunity. Yeah, he has it all, idiot. <laughs> all right, well, he tried. Hey, it's okay. Hey, it's okay, turn, turn, go to video, and let's shoot a video real quick. Yeah. But don't shoot any of the doppel skulls. I'm like gonna no, confuse him. No, it's not my contract to be filmed. I can't. Don't you have to go through my agent. No. <laughs> All right. Okay. Shoot us. Shoot us. Oh. You're a beautiful You're about to win it, man. Pictures. I know. All right. Hit it. Are we recording? Oh, uh, hey. It's Bulk and all the skulls. Travis, right? Trevor. Trevor. Okay. Listen, Travis. Are <laughs> you taking my judge, Black Ball? Man. All right, look, we tried to call you, but you're a jerk. Your phone's off. Nice job. Keep your phone charged. Yeah, yeah, that's right. Yeah. That's right. Give me my top Gone. <laughs> Cut. <laughs> Thank you. Oh, and my question actually was going to be, uh, back when you came back for Samurai, how was it different, you know, coming to New Zealand and meeting a whole new bunch of kids that actually grew up, like, watching you back in Mighty Morphin? They did, and they were a very talented cast and super cool. What was weird is that Uncle Bulk slept in the garage with Spike. <laughs> like, they didn't have a budget for, like, a bedroom set for yeah, Uncle Bulk. Your job in Wild Force. What? When you came back to Fort Red, you were like working at like some like bar. Or something. I know. I, you're asking too many questions, man. <laughs> you're gonna break the universe if you start trying to connect this stuff with logic. <laughs> like, how did I get back from here? And I, I don't know. I swim in space. I don't know. It's like, we don't want to go back to our timelines. Yeah, that, that's what it is, right? We just instant. Oh, it does not work. Chatter grid, chatter grid style. <laughs> Alternate timeline. Sorry, pocket universe. Thanks, guys, and also to Chicago guys, go pack up. Yeah! We're jumping you after the show. <laughs> <laughs> but, like, good naturedly, like on Rangers. <laughs> Nerds! Parabens. <laughs> Alright, what's your question, man? Uh, with all of these skulls in existence now, when are we getting a Forever Skull movie? <laughs> uh, wow. wow, wouldn't that be awesome? That is awesome! Oh, when, does, when does Gladiator 2 Electric Boogaloo come out? <laughs> right? I think that was his point, man. Well, it is next week uh, in my universe when that movie comes out. So. Oh. Oh, awesome. I hope it does well. Transdimensional travel. I hope it does well for all of your sakes, for your careers. I'm just picturing uh, the Forever Skull, like the segment. Like, we're all together, and we're like, oh man, all the skulls are here. Yeah, except for one. And then Nari comes up, and he puts his helmet, and he's got, like, you know, the earring. It's like, there he is. 
the greatest skull that ever was. And we all start arguing, like, what are you talking about? No, but he's transitioned. It's, it's, it's a she. <laughs> he's like taking the ultimate step to find herself. <laughs> like long mullet whips her head. Yes, longer mullet. <laughs> That's right, because that's a little too adult for you. Look, I, you'll be driving soon, then you can talk about changing lanes. But for now, you're eight years old, fools. <laughs> What's your question? How's it going? Not hurt Packers, Bears. I like the Browns, so no one can hate on us because we're so bad. Ah, uh, why do you hate yourself? <laughs> All right, all right, is it true that around Cleveland they have set up beer fridges that are designed to unlock when the Browns win? They have. Oh. There would, the, the, if the Browns even win a game, there could be a Browns con, I mean. So my Brown. question for Zach is, if that's the case, how old is the beer in those fridges? It's been a long time since they've won anything. You know what's- It's so old it would unferment. Yeah, well, skunky beer is a myth. All right? I don't care if it's been in the back of a car for three years. Throw it in the fridge for 10 minutes. I'll drink it. We can just say nice. Just gotta clean the top off so it doesn't look all like nasty. That's the flavor. Just I'm positive. Positive. I'm positive. I'm positive. is though because this has become a Skullcon 2018. It has. I was thinking from the 90s, how would you feel if this character would have been cast also as a replacement Skull? Blade Silver, who played Joey the Red Epstein on Boy Meets World. Whoa, that is so meta, dude. Uh, actually, he's not, that, that would work, actually. Yeah, yeah, just stick him in the list, man. We already got a bunch of them. So you gotta reach out to him, and he could be a small number 26. <laughs> Typecasting is a B. <laughs> Thank you. You're welcome. Okay, what is going on here? What are you doing out there, Rick? What's going on here? How'd he, you get up there? He interjected himself. Man. How did you do that? Uh, you know, it, uh, it's, it's, like, it's like talking to girls, bro. Just like, what's up, girls? Nice job. There you go. Here. Here you go. Cool, this is uh, skull number 67. Okay. Or almost. I think it might be more skull. All right, hold on a second. Listen, you skulls. You numb skulls. Yes, <laughs> Three bolts, right here. All right, what's your question? I don't have a question. Uh, my brother just requested that I tell you this, Paul, that he despises everything Power Rangers. He hates that I'm obsessed with it. And the only thing he likes about the series is you. Woo! Uh, all right, I got a question for you. Has your brother been in trouble for small amounts of pyromania? He's never been in trouble for starting fires? No. Has he ever been caught shoplifting? No. Done two days in jail because of a BB gun? No. Wow. Tax evasion? Skull is a good one. I asked him, what about Skull? He said, yeah, Skull's good too. <laughs> is your brother in the room right now? No. All right, no, ladies, he's really actually in the room right now, right? It's no. you, isn't it? <laughs> My friend, I swear. All right, well, tell your brother that I think he's pretty cool, too. There you go. You must forgive me, please. Hi, Lincoln. Hi. Hi, what's your name? Where are you from? I was dead there. I don't remember the ring. I was right beside you. Dude, no, he's right beside me. Did you hear a kid that said he liked the dragon's over? Yeah. Hey, that's not a microphone. Right, you mean, you're talking about like the, the, the mega, the me, super mega force, mega super battle? <laughs> actually, actually I think there is a movie like that. It's called Avengers Infinity War. <laughs> So look, I know, I know you're a first-time Lincoln, seven-time Skull. 
and, and, and you're gonna you're gonna finish up the panel with the big final question, Lincoln, since you started all this nonsense. But no pressure. No, no pressure. Okay, go. <laughs> No more questions? What time is it? I'll tell you what time it is. It's 1.30!